week marks Mitchell Pearce's 14th NRL preseason. After a rollercoaster year which included the high of a New South Wales origin victory and the low of having his leadership questioned, our halfback is focused as ever to make 2020 a winner. How was the holiday? Good, brother. Good? Had a good time. Did you? I think in any change there's always going to be a good rebound effect. Like the first, you know, we've got an eager group and everyone's super keen and obviously it was a, a lot going on. We're not talking about last year, but you're always going to get a good reaction and a real positive feel for the first week and it's been a big tick. Inside Knights HQ, Adam O'Brien holds his first official team meeting. Across the board, staff and players are all on the same page. The coach wastes little time getting acquainted with his troops. With introductions and niceties out of the way, it's time to rip in. Pre-season is officially underway. Blood, sweat and head noise. This is where you develop character. try and be the fittest guy on the field and try and compete as hard as I can at training on the field all the time. So for me, that's a form of leadership. Um, you know, pre-season is a good te test of your character and, and your leadership. You're obviously pushing your body to the limit, so there's plenty of opportunities to, to get in there and help your teammate out. And um, you know, That's definitely one form of leadership and a f part of it that comes natural for, for myself and I enjoy that. You know, I enjoy there trying to bust my backside from the teammates and try and win everything on the field. Knights fans, it's Connor Watson here, and I'm here to tell you about my story to the NRL. All right, back again for another edition of the podcast. And like early saw... on, all I wanted to do was play NRL. And, um, you know, I used to tell my nan um, and just say, like, I'm going to play NRL for the Knights one day. And yeah. Um... At the start of every preseason, we go through a screening process with the physios and doctors um, and uh, just to check out your body and talk about medical history and um, how your muscles and joints are before going into the preseason. So yeah, it's just a part of the, the process. See you, Josh. See you, Connor. They've come here pretty, uh, pretty pumped up, and they're all uh, all happy and congratulating each other. It's been quite good, actually. Good vibes here this morning. I'm going back. Uh, Nearly going back for 20 odd years, you know, so they're very happy. I've never seen them this good for a, while, for a long time. In rugby league terms, one, six, seven, and nine, the spine is often a focal point. With a new hooker at the club, the next 13 weeks looms as an important time for the halfback and his rake to develop their combination. Yeah, I hadn't had a whole lot to do with Jaden. I met him um, obviously just when we started training or, or last week. He's actually moved in just around the corner from my place. Um, I marvelled at the way he plays at Cronulla for such a young guy. I thought he was a lot older than he was. Uh, he's mature, he's a professional, he's humble. Um, that's him, the little dealings I've had with him. But you know, your first impressions, I've been really, really impressed with the way he trains. He's fit as. Um, you can just see he's a team man. He wants to, wants to win and he's here for the right reasons. So I'm really looking forward to playing with him. I don't think I could have picked a better club, to be honest. It's, I've got a, such a good opportunity uh, with a great roster, a great town, a great lifestyle, and also a, a great coach as well in Adam O'Brien. So I'm just really keen to work hard and 
and learn and um, you know hopefully take my game to the next level. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about the coaching staff and I've obviously been playing for a while and had a lot of the different experiences and we've got a pretty special one here and um, you can see that from the start. And we've got a really good leader from the top. He's going, to, um, he's going to challenge us, he's going to challenge me and we're all looking forward to it. It's going to be uncomfortable, but that's what creates winning. And that's what the coach and his team are intent on building. Next week on Be The Player. Water coming in, water, water, water coming in. Here's the hills again this year at King Edward. Early opportunity to see players where they're at this early in the pre-season.